Yo, what's going on, guys? Today I'm going to be explaining to you why you might suck at hitting in MLB The Show 24. Now, going into reason number one, which is the biggest thing I see when hitters are starting to struggle, is your timing's off. And there's a bunch of different things that can cause this, but I think the number one reason is that you're switching difficulties too often. If you're hopping into a Conquest game and you're just trying to grind out the maps because it's brain dead, you know, you're not having fun doing it, and you're just trying to get it over with, but you're playing on a rookie, and then you do actually try to go have some fun and you hop in like a BR game or an event game or something, you're switching to all-star, which means you're going up two difficulties, which means you're also going up two pitch speeds. So those curveballs and those sliders are gonna be coming in as fast as those fastballs that you were looking at five minutes ago. This makes things super hard to pick up and it's just overall a bad idea. Now let's say you're not doing that and you're still struggling to find your timing. You're playing on the same difficulty every single time you play the game. This leads us into reason number two, you aren't using the practice tool. So what you need to do is you need to hop out of Diamond Dynasty, you need to come down here, and you need to go over to Custom Practice. This is the best way to learn the game without any stress of playing another person or any reward to look forward to. This is just you strictly wanting to learn the game. You can do just about everything with this tool. They have clearly every live series pitcher in the game, so you can work on pitches you're struggling against. You can see specific pitches that you struggle hitting, and you can get that timing dialed in perfect. Now when you first get in the tool, it's gonna look like this. You're gonna be pitching. You're gonna to wanna to press the start key or the options button if you're on PS5. Go to practice type and then switch it over to batting. Now you can pick whoever you wanna hit with on whatever team and you can pick whoever you wanna face on the mound. Then you just back out of here, apply changes, and you're ready to go. Now a setting that I would recommend if you're specifically working on your timing is you're gonna to wanna to go back into the batting practice type and you're gonna come down here to pitch location. If you're not worried about your eye right now and you're strictly, your biggest thing is timing, you're going to want to select all of these boxes so the pitcher will throw a strike every single time. Now doing this, you don't have to worry about your eye. You just strictly have to worry about where the ball is coming in the zone and your timing. So now I can just sit here, look at the pitch come in, and I'm early. Make adjustments on that. Make sure when you're in this tool and you're working on things that you're on at least all-star difficulty. If you're not in at least all-star and you go to play BR or you go to play an event, or maybe even you hop in the ranked seasons and you're above a 400 rating, like I said, that difficulty is going to throw you off. Now, if you want to play on a difficulty higher than All-Star, by all means, dude. Now, going into reason number three, you already know how to use the practice tool and you know how to fix your timing issue. Now, what's the second biggest thing aside from timing? That's right, your eye. If you find yourself going into a game and they're throwing pitches in the dirt, they're throwing pitches above the zone and you're just swinging at everything and you're like man i really can't figure this out i have two recommendations for you number one you switch your pitching view to what your hitting view is as well let's say you hit on strike zone and you pitch on pitcher you're going to change your pitching view to strike zone as well that way when you're pitching you can also see pitches come in but you don't have to worry about the stress of hitting now the reason i recommend this is because this allows you to pick up the spin on the ball see patterns of pitches and if you're still going to recognize like a specific type of pitch and you're throwing that and you see it over and over and over and over and over again eventually it's going to translate to when you're hitting the ball essentially it just gives you double the amount of looks without taking double the amount of hacks now the next tip you're going to want to come back in here to the practice tool go back down to pitch location and deselect everything that way the pitcher can throw wherever they want and whatever they want now in this session you're going to strictly focus on swinging at strikes only. There's going to be times throughout the session where you're going to swing and miss, and that's all right, as long as it was a strike. That's your biggest focus here. Now, just remember, your goal when you come in here is to stop your habit of swinging at everything. So if you come in here and do exactly what you've been doing, you're not going to improve anything, and that's a fact. Really focus up and dial in on your practice sessions, and it'll translate over to those real games. You'll be hitting better in no time. Now, the fourth reason I see can happen without you even noticing it. You guys get tilted during your games and you get tilted easy. Now tilted is just you basically getting mad and it throws your game for you because you're doing stupid stuff that you would never do if you weren't mad. Like let's say you go into an inning and you strike out three times in a row, dude comes back, he gets five bombs on you. Yeah, you're probably gonna get a little mad. You might even quit the game, but I can show you keeping that attitude for the rest of the time you're on and not doing anything to better yourself. You're just gonna stay bad. Now, moving on to the final reason, I don't think it really affects people too much, but it is something that has thrown me off a few times, is latency. Basically, your connection with the game. 
if you're in a game and it's not running smoothly and between every pitch your whole console is glitching out it's going to throw you off it throws me off sometimes because the other person has back connection i truly recommend getting an ethernet cable if at all possible man it's going to improve your connection tremendously and it's going to improve your overall gaming hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on let's go dude that's fire spent 15k on these packs brother that's at least 5k profit right there man i'll i'll take that any day i might even keep this card where was i even at anyway it's gonna improve your overall game experience dramatically if the whole game's running smoothly like it does if you played in conquest games don't you think you guys would be hitting a little better yeah i think so too now moving on to the sixth and final reason man maybe you're just bad at the game no but seriously maybe the game's just not for you maybe if you're trying all these steps and you're actively trying to practice and you just don't get better at all play the game how you enjoy it man don't worry about being online and being competitive with it just play what you want to play and do what you want to do you want to play road to the show you want to build a team you want to do franchise do whatever you want to do just try your best not to worry about being the best in the game if you've tried all these things over and over again and you're just not improving maybe the game's just not for you and that's all right and if you think you're really good and you're like Man, it's just my team. My team's bad. His team's just way better than mine. Go back two videos ago where I show you exactly how to get the best free team in the game. It's super easy. It doesn't take a whole lot of time. And you spend zero stubs and zero dollars. You can't beat it. And nobody's going to be able to beat you with that team if you're good at the game. That's a promise. Anyway, that's going to do it for this one, man. Let me know if you found these tips helpful in the comments. And I'll keep dropping more videos like this. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day, man. I'll see you in the next one.